Besides the always heavy expectations from the fan base in Columbus, what kind of unique challenges does Ryan have this season? Well, the obvious one is the quarterback position. They mm -hmm. have three transfers. All three quarterbacks are new. They were at some other school a year ago. And the other thing is he is now the game manager. That's new for Ryan Day. But he's also assumed the responsibilities, again, of play caller. He's an excellent play caller. However, he's got to make the decisions on punt block, when to go for it, when not to go for it. On defense, you've got to flip over and say, hey, yeah. bring pressure. Those are all things that he's not used to. The one thing about him, he's very intelligent. We've had many, many conversations about that. He's going to be just fine at this. And it's a good game for him to start his career off at Ohio State. Absolutely. Coach, I think he's a great coach. He's a great play caller. My only concern is he doesn't have really any head coaching experience, true head coaching experience. I know he took over for three games last season, but when he did that, the players and everyone else knew you were coming back. He doesn't have that anymore. And when you walked in the door in Columbus, you had already won two national championships, so you had that immediate credibility. I'm just curious, how would you handle that now if you're Ryan Day, knowing that when, when adversity strikes and you're looking at those players out there, they might not have your trust and confidence because they haven't seen the success that you've had previously if you're Ryan Day. And the only thing you can say is that's going to come with time, and it will All come right. with time. The infrastructure is there at Ohio State. Same way, coach, same uh, recruiting coordinators. A lot of the staff remains the same, especially on offense. That will come with time. He mm -hmm. can't force that. There's nothing you can do to change that. That will come yeah. with time. But, Coach, I, I think as I look at the football team, because I think they're in a good spot, right? They're, they're, they're going to do the right things, the players. But as I look at the biggest challenges for Ryan Day, it's filling in the shoes for you because you left their program in such good condition. You never lost to Michigan. You had high draft picks every year, and you won national championships, right? And so you basically – handed him the keys to Rolls-Royce. Now, the fan base is going to have high expectation, <clears throat> especially in this game, because they only beat FAU by a touchdown. People are going to start asking questions oh, yeah. right? oh, yeah. really quick. So I wonder, did you guys get a chance to talk about those expectations filling in for you? Our relationship is so good, and Gene Smith's <laughs> part of that relationship. We've had many, many conversations. He's been there for two years. Ohio State's expectations, you know, it's there's about three or four programs like that. You mm -hmm. can't lose. You can't yeah. lose a game. And even when you win, you didn't play well enough. To me, right, that's not even going to be part of his conversation. It's mm -hmm. going to be maximizing his team. He's got a veteran team coming back other than quarterback. He's such a good strategy coach that that's going to be his focus. And then I... I want to go back. My biggest concern is game management, and not in this game. I think they're fine in this game. We all know they're yeah. going to be fine in this yep. game. It's getting ready for the one when all of a sudden you look across the sideline, they got the same player as you mm -hmm. do. That's when the game management where little things like I'm going to put Pooch Punt in there because I want to down the punt at the five-yard line. Those are the difference between wins and losses. I'm, I'm going to take you off the hot seat from these guys and all these questions. <laughs> and I'm going, to, I'm going to focus on defense. See you, Matt. All right, listen, man, I got your back. Give me something. Uh, I'm going to focus on defense. Just wait. Just, just wait. Second, yeah. La last, year, last year, the Ohio State Buckeyes gave up over 400 yards there a game I thought you said you had my back. <laughs> I do. You're on my team now. But listen, there were a lot of explosive run plays, pass plays, and that was, that was an area of concern throughout the season. And I think this year with nine guys back on that side chase young new coordinators maybe more zone defense which has been talked about yep. this offseason uh, i'm just really anxious and excited to see this new look defense for the buckeyes yeah how long is the honeymoon for ryan it's over man <laughs> <laughs> there's no honeymoon in places like ohio State. no sir no honeymoon big noon kickoff august 31st sponsored by wendy's on fox and the fox sports app